my son, my daughter, give me your heart. God is asking you for your heart. Your heart comes first. It doesn't matter how rich you are or how blessed you are on the face of earth today. If your heart is not with God, you have missed everything. And the truth is, where your heart is, that, that's where your treasure will be. Where a man's heart is. If you're, that's the reason why some of us, our mind is always going to our bank account. Why? Because our money is in the bank. Or wherever you have treasure. Probably your children are not with you. Or your husband is not with you. Maybe your husband traveled or your wife traveled or your children are not with you. Your heart is with them. Your heart goes with them. Why? Because they have a place in your heart. Tonight, this afternoon, this evening, this morning, whatever time it is in Europe, in America, in Asia, in Middle East, wherever you are connected from, whatever part of the world you are connected from, God is asking you to give him your heart. Proverbs 23 verse 26, my son, give me your heart. Give me your heart. Look, your healing, some of you, not everyone, but some of you are here tonight. The only reason why you are seeking God is because you are looking for a miracle. Not because he is God and he is asking you, I'm going to do exactly what you want me to do for you tonight, but give me your heart. The blessings and the benefits of giving your heart to God. I'm going to tell you one or two. One is in the book of Psalm 91 in the Bible. The Bible says, because he has set his love upon me, I will deliver him from trouble. I need to read the translation I read some days ago. Psalm 91. It says, because he has delivered, because he has set his love, love upon me, I will deliver him. I read it. Now, that's one of my own very favorite scriptures. Not favorite, a life scripture that God gave to me that I live by. <laughs> he says, oh Lord, I want to read to you the, 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 the benefits and the blessings of the entire Psalm 91, the entirety of the book of Psalm 91 is a blessing, is a promise for those that have given their heart to God. Now, but let me read this please. He says, because you loved me. Another translation says, because he has set his heart upon me. I'm reading from verse 14. Delighted in me and have been loyal to me. Listen, because he loved me, delighted in me, and I've been loyal to my name. That's God talking to talking about one human being. He said, I will greatly protect you. Oh my God. He says, I will greatly protect you. What other promise do you want on the face of earth? If not that kind of promise. If God says, I will greatly protect you. What more do you need? But for you to earn that kind of promise and be in that place, you need to give your heart to him. Love him. Don't forget what he said. Because you loved me. One. Delighted in me. How do you delight in him? By obeying him. Obeying his scriptures. Obeying his commandments. Following his leading. Not living a life that is pleasing to you. But the life that is pleasing to God. Not fornicating. Not committing adultery. You cannot live in sin. And expect that your deliverance will be permanent. It's impossible. The devil is going to come out for you harder. After your deliverance, you need to go and sin no more. He says, because you love me, because you have set your heart on me, because you have given your heart to me, I, I will greatly protect you. He says, I will answer your cry for help every time you pray. I'm actually reading the Bible. I'm reading from the Passion Translation. Just in case you are looking for what I'm reading. I'm reading the word of God. These are the things that gives us life. And keeps us living. In spite of what the devil brings our way. The devil is going to come to tempt you. He's going to come to test you. Even for everything you are listening tonight. He's going to come. The Bible says you will be tested for your faith. He says I will answer your cry for help. Every time you pray. He says, you will feel my presence in your time of trouble. Why? Because you are giving your heart to me. God, Psalm 91. He says, I will deliver you and bring you honor. I, I, God says, I will deliver you and bring you honor. He's going to deliver you tonight. He's going to heal you. Now, the, the part that it is, 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 is says, it fills in every blanket. It says, I will satisfy you 
with a full life and with all that I do for you, for you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation, God, to anyone that gives his heart or her heart to him as he has asked tonight. Do not take this moment for granted. Please, I beg you in the name of God, 